if you take out your phone and open Instagram and start to scroll, you will probably notice a reasonably big change. And in case you don't have your phone, uh, let me go through mine and I'll show you. Photo, real, photo, 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 photo. Is that a photo? Yeah, it's a photo. More photos, photo. I've got lots of photos. It's very hard to get an actual number, but I would say that my feed is now 70% photo. There are still reels, but it's about 70% photos. So have all our dreams come true? It's hard to say, but here's what I do know. If people are seeing more photos on their feed, this means quite simply that if you're posting photos like many photographers are, there is more chance of people seeing them. But does that mean that reels are dead? Nope. In fact, my reels are reaching more people than ever, but in a very different way to photos, and we'll talk about that. Hashtag reach is down. My own photos only really reach my followers at the moment, even though I'm using hashtags. I think it's important to note though, that until recently, I barely posted anything to Instagram. With all those things in mind, I've baked up a new strategy that I'm using to share my photos, and I think that this strategy will likely be useful for you too. I'm gonna to share it in just a second, but before I do, and before all the photographers get excited, there's one thing Thing that we really need to remember as photographers. A still image on Instagram is not necessarily a photographer's photo. It could be, but it could also be a bunch of phone images, it could be text and graphics as a carousel, or it could be AI imagery, which seems to be filling my feed recently. You see, the nature of the Instagram algorithm means that it's probably more effective to share the story of your photo or a carousel of photos rather than just the photo itself. Now, if you want to share full resolution photography with other photographers, you'll probably want to hear about the sponsor of this video. You see, I decided a long time ago not to rely on one place to build community around my photography. I wanted a place to meet and talk with other photographers and a place to get inspired by photography, which is really important to me. For me, that happens on Vero, which has been doing great things for the photography community for a while now. For example, if you want to view my photo in full resolution, all you have to do is tap the photo and you can zoom in and see it as I edited it on my computer. Vero have also added a nice discovery system so instead of an algorithm showing you what it thinks you want you can simply head to the discovery section choose the type of photography that you want to scroll through and then you can scroll through it another reason why i chose vera is because i am busy and i don't always have time to post constantly with other platforms they can effectively punish you for taking a break because vera has a really simple chronological system right now your followers will always have the opportunity to see every one of your posts if they choose these are just a few reasons why Vero has become a really big part of my photo sharing workflow and where I get inspired and like to have conversations. And if you wanna follow me on there, there is a link in the description. I personally think it's important not to just focus on one platform. But with that in mind, let's talk about the Instagram side of my strategy. I've kind of split my activity into two intentions. One is to communicate with existing followers and two is to reach new followers. So number one, to communicate with existing followers. This is the thing I love most about Instagram. And since my photos are getting very little reach outside of my followers, I'm not gonna expect them to. And this is really good for keeping your head positive. The way I'm looking at it is that posting a photo is simply creating an opportunity for a follower to learn more about me and leave a comment, which in turn gives me an opportunity to respond to them and get to know them better and so on. So in short, I'm using photos to tell stories and create an opportunity to communicate with my existing followers. I'm using hashtags, but I'm not expecting to get anything from them right now, and I'll go into that shortly. Number two is reaching new followers. Reels are still working really well for reaching new people. And I love that Instagram tells you when someone's followed from a reel, it kind of makes it feel worthwhile, the work you put into it. So I'm putting a lot more effort into telling those stories about my world that should appeal to my ideal follower. I'm doing this less frequently, maybe one or two a week, because they seem to get views over time, which should compound as I post more and more. This is also the content that I'm making for YouTube Shorts, so it kind of doubles up. They're kind of stories about my photography. In short, daily photos are intended to communicate constantly with my existing followers, and my reels are intended to reach new people and convert people into existing followers where I'm constantly communicating. The most important reason that this is working for me so far is that I enjoy it, which means I will be able to keep doing 
doing it. The alternative way of posting daily reels using trending audio and copying other people's content all just to get views and it's not really related to my photography, or maybe trying to become some sort of thought leader in this niche, that doesn't really appeal to me. So that's why I'm doing it this way. The best way to make something feel effortless is to enjoy doing it. Now I want to hit you with some bonus quickfire tips and some insights into my account that I think will help you, but I just want to touch on something that's often overlooked. This is the importance of seeing content that inspires you. For me, the biggest improvement I've seen on Instagram right now with this new kind of change is that I'm seeing photo content from the people that I follow. I'm not seeing reels that annoy me and making me feel negative. I'm in the app seeing things that I enjoy and that makes me feel good. I haven't seen stuff from these people in years and it was actually that that inspired me to start posting regularly again but that doesn't come without its problems so for those quick fire tips if you're posting photos carousels seem to be showing in the feed more often so maybe if you just want to add a photo you can add a bit of extra context with more images in short carousels can create a much deeper experience you may see much more hashtag reach than me i've not been posting much recently and i'll be honest my account kind of needs some tlc to get it working properly again in fact let me know in the comments how have the hashtags been for you recently a lot of other photographers are saying that the hashtag reach is down now i'm gaining a lot more followers than usual but I'm also losing a lot more than usual. This is probably because people have followed me from this YouTube channel. Because I've started posting again, they're all realizing that they aren't interested in landscape photography, running or hiking. And that's fine, I'll just have to wait for all those people to leave before I see sort of big things happening again. And a word of warning, if you decide to head over to my Instagram from this YouTube channel, don't expect Instagram tips, expect to see how much I love the outdoors. The other factor is that I've had this account for a while now, maybe four or five years, and it's very possible that many of my older followers are inactive now. So I'm not gonna beat myself up if my engagement rate isn't what it was back then. Now I recommend you do the same if your account is more than four or five years old. And in all honesty, my lack of activity will have really broken things. So I will check in in a few months on this topic to see how things are. So as before, if you have also been inactive, remember it will take time for you to break through to your existing followers again, and many of their interests may have changed. That doesn't mean your content isn't interesting. So in summary, the way Instagram is changing feels really good to me. Hashtags don't seem to work the same as they used to, but the rest of my feed is looking good and it's inspiring me and making me want to share content with the platform. That's just my real and honest perspective though. So let me know in the comments whether you have noticed the same changes on your feed or whether you're feeling more positive about the platform. I hope you're doing great. Hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.